What if I told you there are places around the world where people consistently live longer than the average? And not just longer lives. These people stay active and healthy well into their 90s and 100s. They don't suffer from many of the chronic diseases that plague much of the industrialized world. So what's their secret? Do they have access to some magical anti-aging elixir? Do they have genetics that make them impervious to illness and disease? Or is it their lifestyles and habits that allow them to thrive into old age? In this video, we'll explore the science and secrets behind these real-life longevity hotspots known as blue zones. You may be surprised by what enables people in these regions to live such long, vibrant lives. We'll also tackle some controversial questions like, can adopting a blue zone lifestyle really add years to your life no matter where you live? At what age do you need to embrace blue zone habits to reap the benefits? Is it feasible for most people to make the changes the blue zones require? Stay tuned as we uncover the truth about the blue zones and their secrets to living well past 100 years old. The answers may inspire healthy changes in your own life. What are the blue zones? The blue zones refer to five specific regions around the world where people consistently live longer and healthier lives compared to other populations. These longevity hotspots were first identified in the early 2000s by National Geographic fellow Dan Buettner and a team of scientists. After studying areas with the highest concentrations of centenarians, or people living over 100 years, they pinpointed five regions, Okinawa, Japan, Sardinia, Italy, Nicoya Peninsula, Costa Rica Icaria, Greece Loma Linda, California. Remarkably, people in these blue zones regularly live active lives well into their 90s, 100s, and even beyond. They maintain high levels of mobility, vitality, and mental acuity. They avoid many of the chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer that affect broader populations. So what exactly allows people in the Blue Zones to thrive for so long? Extensive research by Buettner and others revealed several shared lifestyle habits and environmental factors that contribute to longevity in these regions. The rest of this video will explore what makes the Blue Zones so unique and provide actionable tips you can take to promote a long, fulfilled life. The Diets of the Blue Zones One of the biggest factors that enables longevity in the Blue Zones is diet. People in these regions adhere to nutritious, balanced diets that promote long-term health. Research shows Blue Zone diets are predominantly plant-based, with lots of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans, nuts, and legumes. For example, traditional Okinawan diets contained sweet potatoes, green leafy vegetables, soy foods, and medicinal plants. Sardinian diets included beans, whole grain breads, tomatoes, goat's milk, and antioxidant-rich red wine. In contrast, Blue Zone diets contain minimal amounts of processed foods, sugar, refined grains, and unhealthy fats. Meat and animal products are eaten sparingly, usually only on special occasions. Even dairy intake is low. This high concentration of wholesome plant foods provides antioxidants, fiber, and anti-inflammatory compounds. It helps reduce risk of chronic illnesses like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. The variety of plants also nourishes gut microbiome diversity linked to health and longevity. In addition to nutritional quality, Blue Zone diets promote portion control and avoidance of overeating. Stopping when 80% full is a common rule. Fasting periods are also built into certain Blue Zone lifestyles. While their diets stem from local cuisine and traditions, the principles can be adapted anywhere. Emphasizing plants, limiting meat and processed foods, and practicing moderation emerges as key takeaways. Natural movement in the blue zones. In addition to diet, daily physical activity is integral to longevity in the blue zones. However, residents here don't go to the gym or do intense workouts. Instead, natural movement is seamlessly incorporated into their routines. Gardening, walking to run errands, house chores, and working on farms or in fields provides activity. Staying active with meaningful tasks is associated with compression of morbidity in the blue zones, allowing people to stay mobile and independent into old age. 
Socializing within the community also encourages activity. Older residents are valued by younger generations and participate in physical work and recreation as they are able. This contrasts starkly with many modern cultures where the elderly are inactive and isolated. The Blue Zones demonstrate that a lifetime of small, regular movements, not marathon running or pump iron, is optimal for longevity. Finding ways to avoid sedentary lifestyles and include activity in daily living emerges as an important lesson. Social engagement in the Blue Zones. In addition to diet and exercise, social connection plays a huge role in longevity for Blue Zone residents. Extensive research shows people in the Blue Zones derive a strong sense of purpose and belonging from their friends, family, and broader community. Family is extremely valued, with multiple generations commonly living together and supporting each other daily. Older adults are respected as the keepers of wisdom. Grandparents often help raise children, strengthening intergenerational bonds. In addition, Blue Zones foster strong social circles for residents to regularly engage with. In Ikaria, Greece, this takes the form of village drinking circles. In Okinawa, Japan, residents form moais, social groups that provide emotional and practical support for a lifetime. Faith communities are also central in all Blue Zones, providing a space for regular socializing. By supporting meaningful relationships and community on many levels, Blue Zone cultures promote health and purpose into old age. Prioritizing social health emerges as another key Blue Zone lesson. Nurturing high-quality relationships and a sense of belonging may significantly contribute to living well for longer. Stress Reduction in the Blue Zones In modern societies, chronic stress is a huge detriment to longevity and well-being. People in the Blue Zones implement routines and behaviors that effectively reduce stress, which may optimize health. Blue Zone cultures integrate downshifting or stress reduction practices into regular life. Whether it's afternoon naps in Greece, happy hours in Costa Rica, or tea time in Britain, these relaxing breaks decrease anxiety and cortisol levels. Meditation, prayer, yoga, and time spent in nature are also common. The Adventist community of Loma Linda emphasizes inner peace and tranquility. Icarians partake in mindful outdoor activities like gardening. This regular stress relief allows Blue Zone residents to maintain positive mental health. In addition to daily relaxation habits, Blue Zone cultures foster a forward-looking outlook. Dwelling on the past or worrying about the future is uncommon. Living in the present with gratitude and purpose is the norm, providing calming perspective. Finding ways to unwind, reflect, and cultivate peace of mind emerges as another longevity factor to emulate. The Blue Zones demonstrate that regular stress management benefits long-term health, the role of genetics versus environment. The lifestyles and habits of Blue Zones residents clearly promote longevity. But an important question is, how much does genetics also influence their lifespans? Research shows genetics may account for about 25% of lifespan variation between individuals. Some Blue Zone inhabitants likely have protective genes that help them live over 100 years. But environment and lifestyle factors appear to play a much bigger role. Studies of Adventists in Loma Linda found those who closely followed healthy Blue Zone-style habits were about half as likely to die during the study period compared to those who didn't. This suggests lifestyle and environmental factors play a larger role than genetics when it comes to longevity. Epigenetics may also be key, how Blue Zone diets, activities, and habits turn protective genes on and risk genes off. Regular exercise and plants in Blue Zone diets may positively influence gene expression. Overall, evidence indicates the environment, lifestyles, and habits of Blue Zones allow people to live so long primarily because of how they live, not genetic luck alone. While some genetic advantage may exist, the takeaway is we all have power to make lifestyle changes for longevity. Cultural and Historical Context of Blue Zones While they share lifestyle traits that promote longevity, each Blue Zone region has a unique cultural and historical background that helped shape their longevity practices. For instance, the island geography of Okinawa, Japan, 
allowed a culture of fishing, farming, and foraging for sea vegetables to thrive. This shaped the traditional diet rich in sweet potatoes, green leafy vegetables, soy foods, turmeric, and seaweed. Okinawa's secluded location also cultivated tight-knit communities and Moai's social circles. The mountainous terrain of Ogliastra Sardinia made it difficult to access, keeping the region isolated. This allowed strong village and family ties to remain undisturbed. Their shepherding lifestyle also influenced high physical activity levels. In Nicoya, Costa Rica, the lush, fertile landscape enabled abundant access to fruits, corn, squash, and beans. Nicoyans developed a diet centered around these staple crops harvested from their environment. On the Greek island of Ikaria, the hot springs dotting the island promoted daily stress-relieving hot baths. Their island geography also made fish and olive oil dietary staples. The Seventh-day Adventist community in Loma Linda, California, adheres to a biblically-inspired vegetarian diet. Their retreat-like setting and tranquil lifestyle reflects their faith-based principles of finding inner peace. Knowing this rich cultural and geographical context helps explain how each Blue Zone's specific practices naturally optimized longevity over the centuries. Their lifestyles organically evolved in ways salutary for health and longevity. While we can't replicate every cultural nuance, we can adapt elements of Blue Zone lifestyles anywhere by recognizing how geography, history, and tradition shaped them. Challenges and Opportunities of Applying Blue Zones However, there are still many opportunities to apply lessons from the Blue Zones carefully. Doctors advise tailoring diet and exercise plans to individual needs. Municipalities can foster community gardens, walking spaces, and social activities. Schools can teach Blue Zone principles. With nuance, we can adapt practices like plant-based eating, natural movement, purpose, stress reduction, and social connection in many environments. The Blue Zones provide inspiration, not prescriptive solutions. Some specific ways to implement Blue Zone principles include try new recipes and cuisines that feature traditional plant-based foods from one's own cultural heritage. This allows the benefit of increased produce while respecting culture. If making major diet changes, consult doctors and nutritionists to ensure nutritional needs are met, especially for vulnerable groups like children, pregnant women, and the elderly. Focus on community-building activities that are low-cost and accessible like shared meals, volunteering, checking on neighbors. These foster purpose and belonging. Practice stress reduction techniques that align with one's spiritual cultural background, like mindfulness, prayer, or art therapy. Encourage activity in safe, affordable ways like walking instead of driving short distances, exercising at home, and engaging kids in active play. Be understanding that social isolation due to ability, geography, or marginalization prevents some people from robust social connections. Offer support. Advocate for wider systemic changes that allow all people access to healthy, affordable food, clean environments, health care, and community resources. In conclusion, the remarkable longevity of Blue Zone regions provides convincing evidence that certain lifestyle factors can enable people to live past 100 while maintaining health. While genetics may play some role, it is modifiable habits like diet, exercise, stress reduction, and community that emerge as the primary drivers of longevity for Blue Zone residents. By studying their cultures, we gain insights into time-tested strategies for long and fulfilling lives. However, a nuanced approach is required when applying Blue Zone lessons to different contexts. Small, incremental changes tailored to individual needs and circumstances may allow anyone to optimize health span by drawing inspiration from the Blue Zones. Though not a rigid blueprint, the Blue Zones offer wisdom and hope for living well for longer. With creativity and commitment to lifestyle as medicine, we may uncover simple daily practices that support vitality at any age. Our longevity is largely in our own hands.